Thank you. Get a little closer, please. Oh, Angel. here we go. Thank I'll you. be right up here. That wasn't the race that we've seen you run, I guess, in the last couple of years. What was your uh, strategy going in? Um, my strategy was that of everyone in the race, I had um, the least like burden or pressure to make something happen. Um, and I think that that's the gift of having the buy. And um, I think what I what it afforded me was the opportunity to go out and do uh, allow a race to unfold in a way that I wouldn't normally allow it to unfold. So I felt like I just didn't have any um, yeah pressure to like make something happen. I just had the opportunity to just sit and respond. And I don't think under other circumstances I necessarily would trust to leave it to that. And so this was a special circumstance where I could kind of roll the dice and see how see if I could handle it. Yeah, yeah. Last year, it feels so good, and I I was thinking going to the starting line that I I, I started running the 15. Um, I mean, I really started running it in 2011, but I had you know I kind of began running the 15 in 2009, and since then I only have one championship at the U.S. level to speak of, and so. Um, trying to get another one and just kind of reaffirm, improve, and validate um, that I'm the top American 1500 meter woman uh, was important to me today. It was great that you came out and did the champs and took it seriously. I thought it was a great thing you did, not just for yourself, but for the fans. I was imagining as I was walking into the first or into the second call room, I remember in 2012 they had this huge banner on the back of the grandstands that said, um, the something along the lines of like uh, the road to London begins here and it was like this huge you know large print that you have to stare at as you're walking into the second call room and I always thought like that's the most intimidating thing they could ever do to the athletes here um, and so I really truly imagine that huge sign saying this is the road to Rio and that's how seriously I took this race today and how seriously I took this championships because next year nobody gets that by nobody gets that opportunity it really does come down down to who's the top three on that day and so today was a good way to really mentally focus on the pressure that will be there next year. How would you grade your fitness right now? I'm I'm as fit or more fit than I've ever been this time of year. I feel really good. I think that um, Prefontaine and Rome really showed that I'm in a great spot. Um, I didn't go into those races feeling like Superwoman and I opened faster than I have in the past. Um, so incrementally I hope I can just keep knocking tenths of a second off or seconds off uh, and just really, really be strong and healthy and sharp for the World Championships. Do you have any plans for any off distances, you know, any 100, 3K, 5K between now and Beijing? Yeah, I just heard recently that um, Zurich is going to have a 3K and so uh, I plan to run the 3K in Zurich, um, which is so exciting for me because I love the 3K distance. Uh, I was telling the meet director that if, if if the 3K was still an, an Olympic distance, that's probably what I would be doing. Um, so I think it's just a great distance for me. It suits me well, and I'm really anxious to get out there uh, after the World Championships and be able to show off uh, how strong I am, you know, in the 3K. Last year, you just missed the American record in 15. Is there a race you've circled your calendar is that that might be a record? Ah, uh, it's so hard because I I really feel strongly that I had to choose this year. Am I gonna? care about medals or care about times and it, it doesn't have to be strictly that black and white but I think you have to start with the priority being what is the priority and for me it's winning a medal in Beijing um, and so I haven't really circled in a meet saying this is what is going to really be the attempt but um, but I think there's some obvious diamond leagues you know after the world championships are over my opportunity to medal has is now behind me and Brussels will be a diamond league final so um, so that's kind of an obvious opportunity to either be in a position to earn a lot of points or be in a position to try and go for a time. What do you have to work on between now and then? Staying healthy, uh, I think that that has to be the highest goal. I kept telling myself that with a bye, my greatest responsibility is to show up in August healthy. And so that's my, my biggest priority. And then second to that, obviously, is improving on my fitness. So uh, we have a great uh, system. Mark and Heather have been doing this with me for a long time. I've gone to a lot of championships with them and, and often have my uh, either PR efforts or really impressive runs at the championships. So um, they know the formula, and I just show up every day and do what I'm told. <laughs> <laughs>